Troy, I'm keen to understand though, because I know that you've got a ton of really big companies that uh, that use Spring Day and and the data that sort of comes off the back of it. Plus, uh, you know, being involved in this space for such a long time, can you talk through what some of the the measurables are that the impact of these, you know, not just financial well being, but overall well being programs for the teams and organisations? Yeah, that's come a long way. Uh, originally, I've, I've come from the content provider space. So I was involved in a program called Happy Body at Work with ABC Commercial TV. And, and I remember walking into a lot of these large organisations and saying, I've got the wellbeing answer for you. And the, the question often come back at me is, how do you know? Well, I just know I'm the wellbeing guy. I make everyone feel better. It's yeah. come a long way from that. And I, I think what we talk about is, is four clear measures. The first is engagement measure. We need to get people into these ecosystems and into the content and into the tools before we can actually make a difference. So no matter how great the program or tool is, if people aren't engaged and, and interacting, then there's going to be no change at all. So engagement's the first measure. Then wellbeing. How do we measure wellbeing across those pillars and how do we personalise it? So we've worked really hard on our wellbeing check tool and our wellbeing pulse that personalises whether you're doing the wellbeing check, Ben, or whether I'm doing it across my pillars, we get personalised messages and, and leads us into personalised programs off those things. The next one is then health measures. So a lot of organisations do executive checks, they'll do skin checks, they'll do flu vax, they'll have um, mental health programs as well. How many people are using those and what, what are the outcomes from from those. Now, traditionally, those three journeys would be siloed and the data would be very hard mm. to get together. So building an ecosystem where those three data sets can then fall into one data lake where you can really use that data to personalise the organisational journey, also the team and divisional journey that's been built by the individual employees. Then the last piece is the productivity piece. And, and that's the hardest part, particularly within Australia. A lot of the research is American-based because of their insurance model. Mm. But having the data set that the companies can use to then build into their own Power BI's or reporting systems is yeah. the key. So that it's usable data at the point of engagement, wellbeing and health, and then that can be used by the company within their own productivity data. And I think that's the secret. If you can start to combine outcomes from your engagement and well-being movement into that productivity then you start to cr create a real business case for the larger